Australia states are opening doors to skilled migrants, business professionals, experts, students, and investors who are interested in moving and settling permanently in Australia. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. My name is Amin. I'm an immigration content creator living in Portugal and I've created quite a number of videos you might be interested in watching. All links will be in the description box of this video so you can check them out. After watching this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe. You can also share my videos with your friends and your loved ones. Thank you. Just like other countries around the world, Australia is currently facing shortage of skilled migrants to fuel workforce demand. In order to solve this problem, state and territories are easing the conditions of their visa programs and also creating more visas for foreign nationals, just like the 482 visa that an employer in Australia can use to sponsor any skilled worker from outside of Australia. Here is one of the videos I made about Australia. She shared how she migrated from Lagos, Nigeria to Australia with her family of four on visa sponsorship, including flight tickets. If you haven't seen this video yet, I will leave the link in the description box of this video so you can check it out. On the 8th of September 2022, the Australian government announced a 188 visa for specific individuals who are interested in moving to Australia. The name of this visa is Business Innovation and Investment Visa and is only issued to businessmen and women who are interested in moving to Australia to put up a new business. So this is the visa I've been talking about, subclass 188, Business Innovation and Investment Visa. It is also provisional. So this visa allows you to own and manage a business in Australia, conduct business and investment activity in Australia, or undertake an entrepreneurial activity in Australia. Here is the processing time. This provisional business is for people with business skills. It lets you or allows you to operate a new or existing business in Australia. Here are all the information you need to know about this visa. With this visa, you can operate a new or existing business in Australia. You can stay in Australia for up to five years. You can bring eligible members of your family with you. You can apply for a permanent business innovation and investment visa, which is called subclass 888 in the business innovation stream if certain requirements are met. Let's take a look at how long you can stay on this visa. This is provisional visa. You can stay in Australia for up to five years if you are invited to apply for this visa on or after the 1st of July 2022. If you applied after 1st July 2015 and you were invited to apply for this visa before 1st July 2021, you can stay in Australia for up to four years and three months. This visa is granted with multiple entries. You can leave and re-enter Australia as many times as you want while the visa is valid. Family members who apply for the visa must meet our health and character requirements. So you can click on this to gather more information. In order for the primary applicant to be granted the visa, family members who are not coming to Australia must meet our character requirement and might have to meet our health requirement. Let's take a look at the cost of this visa, 6270 for the main applicant. There's also a charge for each family member who applies for this visa with you. Like additional applicants over 80 years will pay 3,135 Australian dollars. Any applicant 80 years old or older who has less than functional English must also pay an extra charge. This charge is the second installment charge. Pay it only when we ask you to pay. We will refund the charge if we do not grant you the visa. The second installment charges are 
main applicant, 9,795 Australian dollars, and family members is 5,890 Australian dollars. To work out what your visa will cost, you can use this visa pricing estimator to check it out. To apply for this visa, you can be in or outside Australia when you apply for the visa and we will decide on your application, but not in immigration clearance. These are the processing time. 25% of applications are being processed in 15 months. 50% of applications are being processed in 17 months. 75% application in 33 months and 90% of applications are processed in 37 months. There are no standard processing times available for this stream, so your application might take longer to process if you do not complete the form correctly, if you do not include all the documents we need or we need more information from you, and it takes us time to verify your information. So we can't process your application if you do not pay the correct visa application charge. We will not notify you if this is the case and if necessary. And here you can see your obligations. These are all you need to do to meet your business obligations and follow Australian workplace laws. Adequate health insurance is also needed. Reciprocal healthcare agreements. And here it says you can travel outside Australia and return as many times as you want while the visa is valid. The time you spend outside Australia does not extend the visa and we do not put a visa label in your passport. Instead, we will link your digital visa record to your passport. So guys, these are all the information you need to know about this. I'll be dropping this link on my screen so you can use this link on Google and make more research about everything that has to do with 188 Australian visa. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. Please share my videos with your friends and your loved ones. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.